talking life. It's a speaking life. The Bible says death and life is on the power of the tongue. So whatever you speak is what you're going to live. If you start speaking things negative and uh, things that doesn't bring any fruit to your life, then that's the path you're going to walk. But if you speak life, speak what God says about you, then you're going to walk that life. <laughs> that's how you're blessed. So the Christian has uh, receives the Holy Spirit and gives him that power to be able to speak life into the life. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of his heart, mouth speaks. So out of the abundance of his heart, it says, as a man thinketh so easy, what you speak matters. What you say matters. And one thing I want to really point out here and teach you here is that word mouth. The word mouth actually means the word in the Greek stoma. Stoma. It's amazing. Because you know, you have to when you study this and you, you put it into context, it really gives you a lot more understanding what it's trying to say here. That word word mouth is stoma. It's the edge of a weapon. Your mouth is a weapon. That's what God's given you. So when you get the power of the Holy Spirit in you, and you, you know His Word, you fill in your 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 mind with His Word, because the Word says that you, you, to transform your mind by renewing yourself with His Word. And as you renew your mind, you're building faith, and your mouth speaks the faith. Your mouth speaks faith. It's a, a weapon. In the Greek, mouth means stoma. It's a weapon. That's why the Bible's Word of God is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword. So God's word is sharper, it's quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword because it comes off the weapon of your mouth. So the, 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 his word is quick, but it's only quick on the mouth of a believer. If you believe his word and what he says about you and what he says about your life, then it, as it comes off your lip, it, it ops, off your lips, it's a weapon and it cuts through your life. It cuts through those things that's not meant for you. It will prune away the things that's not bearing fruit in your life. How amazing is that? So the word stoma is weapon, an edge of a weapon. So his word that comes off the lips of a believer speaks life and it cuts through the things and it keeps moving you forward. So remember what I said is that unless your car is moving, God can't steer it. He can't steer a stationary car. So by moving through your life, you've got to move with God and move with his word. Build faith. Just one touch from the king changes it.